I'm Andrew Reynolds, my favorite skater is Tom Penny. When he came out, he had a way of uh, doing all his kickflip tricks. I wanted to do, do mine like that. You know, it was like, it was real chill and like, look, didn't look like he was trying too hard. It was like a lot of mystery around the way he skated and how good he was. Like you'd always hear everything would be first, second try. It's weird with him because he never really, I, don't, I think was like able to function in that way. Like I'm gonna film a part, he was too just out there. I follow this Instagram cult of Tom that shows like stuff. I mean, there's so much stuff that no one's ever seen. I mean, he can just do things that like not many people can do. Tom Penny was just amazing throughout everything uh, from style to tricks to doing stuff that was never heard of back then uh, in 97 to even nowadays just skating and killing it, having fun. Still the dopest style, still the man. Footage of Tom Penny is when I hooked up and stayed with him and Chad in Huntington Beach. And Tom was so rad, he would give me like a hundred dollar bill and say, Go to the store, get some salt and vins and honey kins and keep the change. Before that, I got a call from Flip. And Flip was like, We're moving to America. We used to be Death Box. We got a brand called Flip. We're moving to America. We want you to be our first US rider. Wow. Damn. And I was like, I don't know anything about, and they told me, like, we got Tom Penny, Jeff Rowley. All names you never heard of? Yeah. And I was like, that sounds great, but I don't know any of those guys. <laughs> I've never heard one of those names. Yeah. And um, it was Jeremy Fox that called. Oh, like, wow. These guys that I'm bringing over are better than everybody. <laughs> I remember thinking, okay, that's very off-putting. <laughs> right after they showed up is when he three-flipped the 13 at Oceanside mm, High. Oh, and Tom wow. Penny kick-flipped over the 10 stair mm. at the police station. Yeah. That was probably only a month or two later. So he basically gave me a warning that these guys are going to come. They're coming to annihilate. And they were coming for the, all the they glory. Were, yeah, they were coming in hot. Penny, like, Rose he, like, sure. knocked the doors down, though. Ooh, he was, yeah. like, there was nobody. Like, there was, it's so crazy how there's, like, there's always, like, all, amazing talent but then there's these these individuals like you get one every like five years. He was such a like a, a character. He was like, like you said, there was so much mystery to this guy that was like, you know, he didn't talk. He didn't seem to talk. Did you Go see ahead. him at Tampa back in the day? Yeah, they came and did a demo. And that's when t I think that's when t Tom had a broken hand and he skated the demo and just did like no flip tricks for like an hour. But his his hand was like. It looked like a balloon. It looked like a oh. like a prop from a movie. And then he just decided to start going in. I didn't care how annoying I was. I just followed him everywhere. Everywhere he went, I filmed everything he tried and did that whole day. He like switched back lip the handrail, which never seen anybody do that ever. Oh. And I filmed, he probably did it 30 times. I filmed every single one. I was there with the fish. I, just like anything he did. It's cool that you knew to follow him. During somebody's run, I looked over and he was over on the vert ramp and he was rolling up to the coping by himself, like looking over the, and it, like he was going to try something. Uh -huh. Like and I started into, I was, from the, from the yeah. deck into the vert ramp. Yeah. And so just by himself and he rolled up, he took a push and tried to nollie backside flip into the vert ramp to fakie what? off the flat. Perfect. Like first try, nollie flip catches it, carries it down and kicks it away and runs backwards down the ramp. And then starts going up the stairs and I'm trying just like clawing through people to try to get over that, to be able to film him, try it. And he tried one more, same thing. Like he could, could have put it down, but kicked it away and then just like left or whatever. What? Could you imagine, you imagine? nollie backside flipping from <laughs> the deck vert. into vert ramp, yeah, landing into the transition with and, no, like, and running backwards yeah. down the vert ramp, just like, by, not yourself. Even, by yourself, like dude. not even slamming, <laughs> yeah. like running out of it. Oh, that's more, almost just as impressive. As a filmer, just you find yourself sometimes in these just random ass places. And Tony Hawk was skating a vert ramp outside. Muska's there, and he and, and has the classic kit on and everything. And uh, and then Tom Penny starts skating vert with him with no pads. And Tom's doing like he does full cabs. He did that, and he was trying to do nollie backside flip on the like on vert. So he was like at the at the, at the coping. So he was coming up and trying to do nollie backside flip and come back in. Um, but. It's just sick because it's him, Muska, and Tony Hawk Tony skating Hawk. together. <laughs> so sick. Wow. It's funny because I, I feel like every skater from like our generation has a Tom Penny story. I, I've met him once. Yeah. I don't, do you have any Tom Penny stories? Yeah, I tell it all the time, man. He knew my name. I <laughs> oh. couldn't believe it. <laughs> no, no, but I do have one that was when we were at MACBA 
And, uh, you know, Macba's a circus. Tom Penny gets up, skates, you know, just like this nonchalant over to the, the little ramp thing. He ollies up and does a manual. I swear to God, this sounds ridiculous. The whole Macba stops. You know when, you know those like TV shows or movies where <laughs> yeah. it's going, that person's going in real time, but everybody else is oh, frozen yeah. <laughs> around? Everybody turned and watched him. And he just went around and manualed and landed. And right when he landed, I swear, it was like, like back, it was back to normal. <laughs> Everybody's just waiting for him to do anything. This is my only like personal one-on-one -on -one Tom Penny story. I was at South Bank in London and Tom Penny was at South Bank. And we're just like, oh, let's go to this, let's go get dinner. And then we're walking and Tom's walking. And then as we keep getting, he, he ends up joining up. And I was like, dude, there's no way he's coming. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm going to eat dinner with Tom Penny. <laughs> and it's this place called Wagamama. It's like the style where you sit at a really long picnic table. So we sat in a group and Tom set the distance of like eight to 10 people away for some oh. reason. So we're all sitting here. He just sat way down there. So anyways, we're eating and I ordered a uh, gyozas and I haven't spoken a word to him. I get my little chopsticks and I just get ready to pick it up and I feel a presence and I turn and it's just Tom and he's standing right over my shoulder. <laughs> and he, he's like this, he's like... We'll set. Like, oh, it's a it's a gyoza. And I was like, Do you want one? He's like, and he just handed him a gyoza. And he ate the ate the gyoza and he I can't remember he said something just like one word, like something like mm, and then just went back and sat down. So there was yeah. no one sitting there. No, it was an empty bench. Wow. There was he could have sat right next to me the whole time, you know? And that's oh. what I was, I was like, oh shit, Tom Penny's going to sit next to me. Yeah, <laughs> I hadn't even been introduced to him. He just at like, like he a took ghost your food. just appeared. That's he was amazing. just right there. But he took <laughs> your so food. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So he came and get your gyoza and then went wow. back eight amazing. feet. Hey, man, you're supposed to be interviewing me for the fucking yes video, man. You're like, I can't talk no more. I got to go to sleep. All right, man. Fucking psyched on the interview, man, man. Keep up the good work. Uh, hey, if, if you hear, if you hear, I'm going to grab my skateboard and walk over and try and do this line. And if yeah. you hear your telephone ring once and then turn off, don't worry about picking it up or answering it. That just means we got the last line, man. The, the okay. dog line, the stick line. We got it. We got it. I'm going to do it. In fact, okay. fuck, we should almost leave the phone on. <laughs> do it, like, in between the tricks. Have a friend. Like, hello, Tom. La, la, la. Like, Ollie, Ollie. Like, All right. flip. Like, hey, Fred, what's up, man? All right, grab your board. Boy, should I put the phone in my hand or what? I'll hold on to it. <laughs> okay, it's coming through the bushes. That'd be so sick. All right. That's fucked up. We didn't get it. Hey, Fred, we didn't get it, man. I fucked up. Oh, you fucked all our pens up and shit. Oh. He fucked up the pastels. Some girl was drawing on the fucking ledge, and I guess I knocked over all her pastels. She had some dope drawing going. You don't have to fucking start kicking me and hitting me and shit, man. I hope you pick up your pastels, man.